All right, so I just uh, completed setting up my rational sigmoid uh, for, I finished defining it, sorry. Um, so let me add it to the evaluate methods real quick. Case transfer function dot uh, rational sigmoid. We're gonna return rational sigmoid of the input. And this should all be very familiar. Case transfer functions dot rational sigmoid. Uh, for the derivative, we're going to return rational sigmoid derivative of the input. And that is that. Okay, so let's uh, collapse the transfer functions, go back to the program, <coughs> change our Gaussian to be a rational sigmoid, and just hit F5 and see what happens. Works out. Cool. All right. So, uh, all right. Input of one gives us two and a half, which is what we want. And that's it. So we'll stick with that for transfer functions for now, unless we find something else uh, that we want. Um, I guess the only other one that uh, we could add, we could do like uh, sine and cosine, right? If we wanted something periodic, uh, which of course is great because they're um, just shifts of one another and derivative sine is cosine and all that good stuff. So. Um, I guess we could add that one in later if we so desire, uh, but I haven't ever needed it yet. So, um, okay. So in the next video, we're going to go over uh, creating the save and load methods, which will sort of wrap this thing up and we'll be able to uh, save it to XML, import it from XML. Um, and actually what we're going to do is we're going to save it to XML using XML writer. So it's real easy to write. Um, in fact, I have an example here. So this is what it's going to look like. Ta-da. Uh, right, you're gonna have a neural network tag inside which you're gonna have parameters, right? Parameters are gonna find the name of the network if you wanna name it, the input size, layer count, right? Each layer will have a type and number of nodes, et cetera, et cetera. And then in the weights, you'll have each layer. In each layer, you're gonna have each node and you're gonna have an accent which connects it to a node in the previous layer. So this is gonna be the exact same loop that you're used to seeing uh, where we go through all the nodes in the current layer um, and then for each node in the current layer go through each node in the previous layer and we're going to write down all this garbage okay so that's in the next video um, and then what we're actually going to do is we're going to import it by um, using xpath syntax instead of xml reader because that way if you are creating your own um, it doesn't actually matter if you haven't yet defined layer count if you're reading the XML in a forward fashion um, because I'm going to fetch neural network slash parameters slash layer count uh, so I know how to um, uh, dimension the array of layers and then for each one of those I will explicitly pick out you'll notice all of these have an index tag I will find them all by the index um, using XPath okay and then that'll be that and we'll have our uh, neural network class. Um, and then after that, we're gonna do a training framework for batch training of data. And, uh, and then I guess we'll just go from there, look at some cool stuff. Okay, so I will see you guys soon.